So yeah, we're going to play a, a bit of the junkyard scene. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, we we love the junkyard scene because a lot of different uh, elements. But uh, the first one I think is the environment. I think uh, the environment artists have made something incredible here. For Life is Strange, we really wanted to have a, a stylized rendering. We didn't want it to to be to have, to be re realistic or so every texture has been hand painted to give this impressionistic feeling and i think in, in the junkyard it's really interesting because there is so many details that that's where this kind of simpler simpler texture are working well because if if this, this scene was overly detailed with cracks in in the rust and everything it would would become really noisy to look at. We did a lot of uh, work on, on the lighting effects and the atmosphere, so it was really important for us to capture this morning feeling with a very, very cold colors in, in the fog, but a, 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 sli a slightly warm sun that just bring, bring some, some uh, soft and warm feeling to the scene. This scene is also a good example of um, what we want to do in, uh, in terms of uh, environmental uh, storytelling. Uh, we've got a, lo a lot of different objects were there and was their own story and okay let's do this can you find five bottles while i prep the shooting range beer and guns <sighs> nice combo you can handle it now go find us five bottles this is one of the Pretty best please. puzzle of the game i think yeah, i think it is <laughs> i think the... i think it's mostly the final bottle that was really hard to find and we we did a mistake on it because it was maybe too well hidden our goal at, for this was just to allow the player to, to push the player to visit the place while looking for those bottles because there is a lot of interesting things to discover basically the junkyard is where chloe brought max to to try her power but it's also where chloe and rachel were hanging out together before rachel disappeared so this, this place here was this small hideout for Chloe and Rachel. And we tried a lot of what we did in the whole game with the environmental storytelling can be seen here because there is a lot of everything that we really like to, to do to tell with the environment. It's a good way to, of course, to show more to the player. So it's And it's, it's also to give rewards to the player who want to know more about the characters and who is curious. Uh, because you you can do the you can do this whole scene without uh, looking at every details, but there is some hidden stuff. This one is harder to find. I think that not every player find it. But and this is a big letter that Clo that uh, Rachel was wanted to write to to Chloe and maybe didn't never never gave it to her. In Life is Strange, we really try to put a lot of attention to the details. So we have a lot of various levels of things, and if if you look around, you can find some really, really small details that are useless to the main story, but interesting. Actually, we start to play with that, putting more and more things in corner, in dark, uh, dark area, to see if uh, the uh, player yeah. can uh, spot it or, or not. And you, usually they did. There's a noticed thing that we thought we, the, the, they could not notice. Like on a shirt, we have letters that when you put in the right order, it says, no fucks given, and they noticed. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. <laughs> Life yeah. is Strange is a, is, is, is a, really is a game about choice and consequences, so we have a lot of choice you can make in the game, which will have consequences later on uh, in the same episode and or in the other episode. And, and there is one big choice in, in this scene, right, that will happen, for example. Yeah, the, the idea for each choice is, is really to have not easy choice to take, even if it's not the life or and death choice, uh, uh, like you could have in other game, or it's, it's more everyday life choices. The important is really to, to make your own and to decide to live with it. So that's why with the uh, max power, it, it, it's, of course, more difficult because you can try a choice. You're not sure you're going to rewind and you're going to make the other one, but the important is if you want to continue and to to move on, you have to keep on one and uh, live with the consequence. So this is in this choice this in particular. Uh, what do you want to do, Michel? Um, the first one. <laughs> I don't think I would shoot a, a guy uh, okay. anyway. So I would say. I, so I, we I, won't I, shoot. I won't shoot. So you can see directly some consequence. Means that you don't have gun anymore because Frank is going to take it. 
Chloe will be pissed off. You can of course Sorry. rewind and and try the other one. But something that's really interesting because it was it was a um, a lot of work at the beginning because we were thinking that if you have the rewind, does it not completely destroy the the fact that you are making choices? Uh, and actually, we've seen that players are really really hesitating. We've seen uh, we've seen uh, uh, we've watched some some let's play video and we've seen players just even if they knew that they could go back, they were hesitating so much when they make a choice. I think it's it's interesting. 